Hello Zany friends. I am Marshall. And I am Lainey and it is time for the first of two holiday collection videos. Yeah, there's a lot going on. If you weren't paying attention in the last few videos that we did, there's a whole lot of new Christmas and then there's a whole lot of old Christmas that's getting new. Yes. In this video alone we have 10 new scents that are coming out and we are spreading this out across the holidays. So November, December, are going to be considered one month period. That way you don't have buyer's remorse during the holidays of everything you have to buy. These fragrances, we've got two from our signature collection, one from Stranger Things and the rest are all holiday movies. And these are of course all of our new ones. In the next video we will have everything that is coming back and with new labels. Mm -hmm. yes. And some of those you're really gonna wanna see because I like how they turned out. Overall, I'm very happy with mm -hmm. the way that these are. So also we are looking at doing some new items for mm -hmm. 2020 and we're testing them right now. And we've already talked about the car scents. We're continuing to test those because we wanna make sure that they are gonna work for what we want. And also looking at a brand new item in this, mm -hmm. this month's thing that we are going to test for 2020 as well. So are you ready to get into this? I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. For this video it does have everything, but if you follow us over on Instagram, um, you will see that we do also put parts of this in smaller bite-sized mm -hmm. portions for you to uh, ingest on the regular. Yeah, definitely on IGTV. So if, if you feel like maybe this is too much for you, go over there. But you know, if you want everything all at once and you just wanna get it over with, this is the time. So you can tell by our shirts, he is wearing the holiday. I am wearing the Friend Central perk, mainly because I just got the shirt and I haven't worn it yet. But um, also stick around for the other video because that's gonna come into that too. So does this. So does that. That and not so much that. Not this, that's not just that. There. Okay, I think this was the first scent that we decided we were going to do this mm -hmm. holiday season. It is based on the movie that came out last year at Netflix called Christmas Chronicles. So a bunch of people were like, you need to do this next year. So we're like, okay. Although this movie doesn't seem to be as popular this year, maybe not yet. When we told people we were coming out with this, there just seemed to be a mm, no opinion whatsoever, I guess. <laughs> But it was a great movie yeah. for, you know, like a Netflix holiday movie. Then Netflix kind of steps up game, its game occasionally, but sometimes you can tell that it's got some Hallmark refugees. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So the name of this set is called Christmas Must Endure. The set notes are Holly Berry, Christmas, Lily, and Coconut Cake. It does have a, a very much a Christmas scent. The Holly mm -hmm. Berry with yeah. that little pine background. Well, what's really interesting is that coconut cake that kind of comes in and just keeps it from being just berries and pine. Mm -hmm. It adds a warmth to it, True. which you kind of need in the holidays. Holidays can't just be uh, mint and woods or berry and woods. It's got to be some warmth. Exactly. So this one we have in a spray, a wax melt, a scrub, and our infused oil roll-ons. These are great. I've been loving these and now I'm starting to hoard them because I love them a lot. I've been using them, using one of them a little bit myself, just like whenever I have eczema flare-ups, I just kind of mm. roll it on that spot and it almost vanishes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Again, this is not a perfume. This is an infused oil and it's supposed to be good for moisturizing and scenting lightly. Yeah. Um, so what do you think of this scent in general? It would be great for like putting in a melter before mm -hmm. a party. Oh yeah. A Christmas party. I yeah. think it'd be really good for that. Or spray. If you have an artificial tree, this would be very good for spraying on that tree. You really get the scent of the pine, of what mm -hmm. the tree should smell like. I mean, I'm using these sprays a lot during the holiday season for those kind of things. It's just mm -hmm. spraying it in different things that are decorating and really getting that scent out there. Yeah. Yes. Now the artwork we see here is Waldo and he is dressed up as one of the many little mischievous elves that show up in the Christmas Chronicles movie. You almost weren't expecting them there. Like yeah. you're, you're going through this movie and it's like, oh, this is a nice fun romp with Santa. Cool. Whoa, these elves, what's going on here? <laughs> I, I, I'm not objecting, but I'm kind of confused. This is cool. All right, let's go. So he's dressed up as actually the main one that we see. The mm -hmm. one that typically gets in the center screen. We have to watch it again. We actually watched it once and it was last year, so. Why don't you watch it with us? Yes. By the way, I'm posting holiday movie reviews on my Instagram and in our group, all on my social media and on our website. We have movie and book reviews. So if you are watching any of these movies or you want to, and don't, don't know if you want to watch them because maybe they might be like 
subpar. Go over and see if I reviewed it on the different social media channels. I'm just starting those, so it might be a while to get some up there. Our next scent is based on a Christmas classic called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It is created by Heather Reeves, and she wanted to create the scent based on this and call it the first toy maker because of course Santa Claus is the first toy maker to the king, right? Mm -hmm. These scent notes are breakfast pastry, orange, and marshmallow. So I'm gonna tell you, for the most part, I love every single scent we have, like this month. With it, maybe the exception of one that is just not my style, but this one, mm. Santa Claus is Coming to Town is one of those R Rankin Bass claymation specials mm -hmm. that when you're a little, when we were little kids, is playing on television every m Saturday morning during the Christmas time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here we have a scent. It smells like an orange pop tart. Oh, it's really good. It is amazing things. how how good it smells for that, mm -hmm. and it's just it, it 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 takes you back to that time, mm. and I really appreciate that. Yeah, it, it was it was a really good scent combo. We don't do a lot with orange because orange is very tricky. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky scent to blend with other things and not smell like you want to throw up but this one is so good and this one's really awesome and you can get this in all four ways also yes you can mm -hmm. on the front when you do get it you're gonna see zane and he's dressed up as the younger santa claus from that show right as he was about to finish everything off he starts growing a beard but he's a redhead so he's got this big old bushy red beard before he becomes the old man but you also see a penguin with him Interesting. The penguin was from that show. Um, <laughs> His name is Topper. Yeah, Topper the penguin. Mm -hmm. and, and he was kind of difficult because I was trying to m model Topper there, but it just didn't look right. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing this my own way. More on that later. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm really liking how it turned out. We got a lot of nice gradient on the beard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, that is not easy, guys, to make this look like it's not pasted. The hair is not like pasted on his face. It actually is a beard. It takes a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of texture and gradient work. I'm telling you, it's, it's literally one. It's harder. Gradient, but yeah. yeah. I just had to figure out how to get it to work. The next scent in our collection is based on a movie that came out when I was in high school. It told you how old I am. I actually did a color guard show based on this movie's music when I was in high school. Ever since then, I mean, I think I ended up watching this movie in the theater like three times in preparation for the show, but also because I just loved it so much. And then when I got married, my husband Corey, he loves watching this movie on Christmas Eve. So it's become this tradition where we watch it on Christmas Eve. Even though it's only slightly Christmas themed, it is still takes place yeah. in the Christmas holidays because we'll explain it in a minute. Yeah. But this is based on Hook and it's called Oh There You Are. In the movie, if you haven't seen it, the kids and the parents go to their grandmother's, it's actually like their great great grandmother's house, mm -hmm. who is Wendy. They're, they're going for Christmas for the holidays. So that's kind of why this fits in with the whole holiday mm -hmm. thing. But then of course, Peter Banning goes to Neverland mm -hmm. because his kids get kidnapped and he has to go rescue them. He of course runs in with the Lost Boys. So he keeps saying, I'm not Peter Pan, I'm not Peter Pan. And they go, yes you are. And then at some point, one of the Lost Boys, when he finally realizes that he is Peter Pan, one of the Lost Boys goes up to him and says, oh, there you are, Peter, when he looks at his face because was, he's old. It was a really interesting scene because he's the kid isn't just like, I don't know. He goes up and he's like messing with his face and prodding it and pulling it in different ways until he finds Peter's smile, which is what Peter really lost. Mm -hmm. You wonder, then who is this guy? <laughs> the kid that actually does make that line, Buttons, doesn't have a very descriptive look, but one that is very prominent in the movie is Rufio. We decided to put Rufio on the front of there, along with the golden pan sword. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. You are the pan is rain blackberries and a little pixie dust which okay again guys we tell you it doesn't necessarily smell like pixie dust we don't know what pixie dust smells like it's just for fun okay but really it's mostly rain and blackberries okay so this scent this scent is probably one of my favorites okay so the rain is not very prominent it's very blackberry but the rain gives it this like really fresh scent. Mm -hmm. And we actually made some car scents to test out of this scent. And it's been hanging in the car and I get in there and I just get this really nice fresh air 
like scent like real good in your hair like and... after the after it rains yeah you're standing in a blackberry field and that is what is happening and it is divine it is so good it really made me think of that scene where they're trying to get peter to play with them by mm -hmm. eating imaginary yeah. food and they start the food fight so like the rain because they're kind of out in the forest and neverland but then the blackberries because it's food and if you look at it look at the actual food most of it is not really food it's like this gray pudding type thing although there's other colors but when they yeah. when they end up getting down into it it's like this gray pudding and i thought like if you guys have ever gone to um the be our guest restaurant at disney mm -hmm. world it looks like the gray stuff that they serve although to yeah. me i feel like it's it's kind of indicative of baby food which mm. since most of them have been there since very young childhood this is what they remember it's like pudding. very smart very smart but then of course it should smell like blackberries because I don't assume that it would smell disgusting. No, it would smell tasty. <laughs> it's a good, solid, fresh scent. And it, and it really like surprised it. me, because I didn't think I was going to like the rain as much as I do the next scent. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on why we decided to do the scent. This scent is actually a movie that I watch every Christmas season. I was a huge, huge fan of Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan movies. I have watched all of them. I own all of them. I it, they're just she great. quotes them frequently all, all the time this one is called pick me up it's based on sleepless in seattle now although i wanted to do a sleepless in seattle scent i did not get this idea it does not come from me it comes from my friend zelma who had an italian exchange student who taught her how to make authentic tiramisu and there's a scene in sleepless in seattle that's kind of funny uh, where Tom Hanks and Rob Reiner are sitting in a restaurant and they're talking about how Tom Hanks has to go date again and he doesn't really know how to do it and Rob Reiner says tiramisu and Tom Hanks says what what is that and he and Rob Reiner says you'll love it Tom Hanks goes wait I, I don't I don't know what this is some woman's gonna want me to do this to her and I don't know what it is later on in the conversation he says how about a pick me up so that's why it's called pick me up and it smells like tiramisu the scent notes are tiramisu and coffee and yes I understand there is coffee in tiramisu already but we the reason why some. we added some coffee is because the coffee smell wasn't as prominent as we wanted so we added both of them <laughs> I do not know if it smells as authentic as Zelma will want it to smell Zelma I'm sorry if it doesn't but it smells really good amazing this is actually one of this is probably my favorite scent of the new christmas scents mm, mind you. i like it a lot mm. and it, it like when we were first doing some of the car scents for it i'm like "Ooh, this is dangerous this is dangerous this is a great wake-up scent it's real good guys <laughs> now it makes me want to go out and get some i don't know where but i would love it Tell me about the art, because I really love the art for this too. Uh, me too. Okay, so here we have Ravenna, and she's dressed up as Meg Ryan's character. Annie. Annie, from the final scene up on the top of the Empire State Building, where she goes and looks out, and then she sees Tom Hanks' son's character's backpack and bear. And she picks it up, and since the two of them had left it behind, they come back for it, and she meets them. Spoilers. <laughs> you haven't seen the movie, spoilers. <laughs> All of these, if you haven't seen them yet, it's your fault. They've been out Watch for it. most of our lives. Yes. <laughs> okay. And if it's most of our lives, some of you, it's been longer than you're alive. Okay. Sure that. In here, Ravenna is dressed up as Annie, and uh, she's got the backpack, and she's got... Uh, that's not a bear. That's Hershey. And, and this also has kind of a fun little mix in it because the original Hershey that we've got, he is a Build-A-Bear moose. And if you look at the backpack, even though this is very close to the backpack that the little boy had, it looks like a Build-A-Bear backpack. Okay, so I used to work at Build-A-Bear, um, which is why I got the Hershey that I have. We used to sell the moose in the regular size. But then every holiday season, the people who worked there would get a miniature version of whatever the big version was as like a limited edition, thanks for working with us type thing. So that's how I got Hershey in the first place. And there's actually another one called Mocha that my mom has. It's almost exactly the same one. For some reason, I got two. When he says the colors, those are exactly the colors. If you go into mm -hmm. any build a workshop, it's red, blue, and yellow all over the place. So when I saw the backpack, I immediately went... Oh my gosh, this is like the funniest Ode to Build-A-Bear I've ever seen. It's a great Build-A-Bear Ode, but it's exactly the way it is in the movie, too. All mm -hmm. I did was take out the words. Yes. So, this is like... This is one of my favorites. I, I really enjoyed the artwork on <laughs> yes. this one. Yes. Um, and I'm not even that big of a fan of the movie. 
It's a good movie. Not your favorite it's Tom a... Hanks Meg Ryan movie. Yeah. Yeah, it would be Joe vs. the Volcano, or you've got yes. Mail. Yes, Joe vs. the Volcano. Yes, love Joe vs. the Volcano. Comment below if you've seen that movie. I talk about a quotable movie. Oh. I might have to do a set for that later. Um, I, I forgot that to mention you. this. I forgot to mention this, but all of these, so far, all of these scents, you were able to get it in all four ways. Yeah. Um, there are going to be a couple that you won't, but all four ways. We'll, we'll get there. Actually, we can do one of those now. Our next scent is based on the holiday classic Home Alone. Do I even need to tell you about this? Like, who hasn't seen Home, Home Alone, really? <laughs> the plot. He's home. Alone. Alone. Um, I actually just saw something the other day on social media about how it, it took it from the other perspective. Like, even though these guys were trying to rob the house and stalking them or whatever, but just, like, what Kevin did to them and how truly terrible it was that what he did to them even though we watch it all the time and go you go guy you protect your house you go no <laughs> he may have done all of these really mean and terrible things but at any point in time they could have been i'm done and walked away that's true they just kept they going they kept going and so it's their fault totally it's totally stand your ground totally Anyway, the name of this scent is called Filthy Animal, which is, of course, based on the movie that he's watching, which is called Angels with Dirty Faces or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, keep the change a filthy animal. So and from yes. that scene, because the first time that he watches it by himself, he's like gorging on ice cream. So the smell is fudge, ice cream, and ingenuity. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you need ingenuity to make that much ice cream and eat it. Oh, but it, this one is good also. Mm-hmm. Mellow. It's a mellow scent. This is like, you ever have a really bad day and you just want to sit there and gorge on a ice cream just like he does? Just spray this maybe a little bit and it might go a little, a little bit. Save the calories. Save the calories, spray the stuff. Yes. Let's talk about the art. Zane, and he is dressed up as Kevin McAllister. He's got in one hand, he's got the iron, oh, bang! and on his back, he's got the BB gun, and behind him is a snow shovel. Because they're the final scenes, this old man that he's been kind of afraid of and reconciles with comes to his rescue using a snow shovel. Originally, when we built this, this is going to be Hershey. And he was doing the scream face. Hershey's mouth does not work. Plus, it was just a scream face. It was kind of overdone. We decided to do something different. So he's mm -hmm. just like, yeah. I'm a wow. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this one, mm -hmm. definitely. This one, though, does have cinnamon. So it's only these two. Only wax and spray on this one. This scent is called Santa's Little Helper. It is based on The Simpsons, but it's, I guess the dog is called Santa's Little Helper. This was actually done by part of my rep team that they had a competition to see who could come up with a scent for the holidays. And this was the one they came up with that we liked the most because we had no idea about it. And mm -hmm. that's what I love the best about doing these kinds of community submissions is I'm going to get stuff that I don't know about. And therefore I, can mm -hmm. look into it and be familiarized with more things and that's that's the beauty of it it is based on the simpsons uh dog kind of the... it's kind of based like the scent notes are based off of the entire simpsons kind of it, and specifically there is a simpsons holiday episode mm, right um, that that they had wanted us to work with and so you get these donuts because donuts mm -hmm. um and you got some brown sugar and chestnuts and the it, chestnuts kind of gets it back to the holiday. It is very cinnamon sugar. That's the mm -hmm. first thing I get on this. Now, this is the scent where I love it in a spray. I like it in a wax, but for some reason, I could not deal with it in the car scent. I don't know what it was about it, but it just did not work right. So I say if you have it for wax or spray, you'll probably really love the scent. It is very similar, though, to a Smuggler's Bride. Mm -hmm. But it's not quite as sweet. No, it's not. It's, it's much more on the cinnamon end of it. Mm -hmm. Those chestnuts are there, but it's more of an undertone. Here we have Roxy, and she is dressed up as Marge Simpson, but we couldn't just leave it there. This is Christmas. Come on. So she's got, in that massive hairdo of hers, she's got all these Christmas lights and a Christmas star up on top. And then, oh, you have Waldo, and he is very convincingly dressed up as Santa's little helper, which 
is an interesting look for him. I'd never really imagined him as a dog. <laughs> He's a very adaptable little rabbit. Uh, <laughs> kind of is, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is pretty straightforward, but I really like how we got the lights to shine in this one and how it has, mm -hmm. like, a glow around our head. This scent does contain cinnamon, though, so you can only get it in the wax and the spray. All right, our last one in the holiday portion of our collection. Based on an idea by my old roommate, Chris, he and I were talking, and, and he suggested, you know, doing this scent blend for National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which we hadn't done before, and I'm kind of surprised because we watch this every year also yeah. it's really one of the only national lampoons movies that i will watch the only one i ever have watched the other ones just are not my thing this one is eggnog and christmas tree which it makes total sense if you've seen the movie because the eggnog and there's a whole thing with a christmas tree sorry this this part of the video is a little, a little a little longer but okay so as a universal team member uh, we do really quirky weird things okay so the, the, the thing that we have is a little like a team member mascot and his name is Earl the Squirrel and this it kind of really clicked on me in the movie Christmas Vacation there is a squirrel in the Christmas tree and it like attacks them, everybody. right? Everybody. In the theme park, if you go into the studio's part, not Islands of Adventure, but you go to the studio's part, there's a huge Christmas tree in the back. It's like in front of uh, the Jimmy Fallon ride and Mummy. This huge Christmas tree. Everybody takes pictures. Every year, they put the squirrel in the Christmas tree in a different place. So if you find him, you can take a picture. It's really fun. So his name is Earl, and they have adapted it as this team member mascot so now you can go around different team member activities that they plan and take a picture with earl the squirrel and so this week i was like oh yeah that's from christmas vacation i've never <laughs> seen earl i've never seen yeah him. so we i think we may have actually tried to find him last year but when we go into the park this year we'll try to find him because he's it's pretty he's like he's like this big he's he's not, he's, not he's very small but he's so cute. I've got to hold him. I mean, he's not real, guys. So just, <laughs> yeah, they're going to shove a real squirrel up inside this tree. But hope if, he doesn't attack anybody. If you really want to see Earl, you can follow the employee team member Instagram, which is UOTM Life. And on their stories or on their main feed, you should be able to see a picture of Earl because he's all over the place on there. Back to our set. Eggnog and Christmas tree. It smell. It's called Eat My Rubber. <laughs> I didn't even tell you that. It's called Eat My Rubber. Um, it is... Definitely Christmas tree with like kind of a creamy undertone. That's what it smells mm. like. Yeah, and really honest, again, if you if you just have a Christmas tree, that's that's one thing. But we have to have the warmth in there, mm -hmm. and it's a nice alcoholic warmth this time. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, so, it is. Again, this is really good for a party, a Christmas party. You should think about that. Uh -huh. It's Christmas parties or on your happen. tree. Yeah, exactly. The art on here is pretty fun because it's kind of a mixture of different things. It's a mixture of different points in the movie. Uh -huh. uh, so we have Orlando and he is dressed up as Clark G Griswold has a bunch of different scenes throughout there where he's wearing different things but he has this red robe that he wears in uh, several different scenes. So we have that red robe but there's one scene where he goes up to the attic to uh, go hide some presents and he gets locked up there. And it's winter and there's no heating up in that part of the room mm -hmm. so he's gathering things so he's got these purple gloves that go all the way up his arm he has a turban in the scene he was wearing a fur coat but you know what pita settle down <laughs> um what we've never seen is what he wears on his feet so we added moose slippers for <laughs> wally world and he's got a wally world mu wait that's not wally no that's hershey <laughs> He's got a Hershey mug full of eggnog. So this mm. is th this has got a lot of different points of the movie. No electrocution or cursing or kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Which you can see he's right up here too. We actually do have a mini version of the Wally World little mm -hmm. shot glass. And in fact, we have a couple of them from different movies. I think we have the leg lamp from Christmas Story and we have the narwhal from Elf. Yeah. Also in these little ones. So... This is fun. Um, so the one thing we did want to tell you about this, about this, not necessarily this set, but we wanted to use this opportunity to unveil our new thing that we're testing. You can get this scent in all four types, but this new thing we're testing is something we have come out with in the past, but we decided now that we have a new wax formulation, we are going to try doing candles again. So this is Eat My Rubber in a candle form. We're going to be burning this throughout the Christmas season and seeing if we like it, if it throws well, 
I have some reps who are also going to test this out for us. So and they have different scents available all of them. to them. They do all different ones because mm -hmm. we basically made a bunch of all the different scents and then just passed them out. I I am really excited about the candle project. I really hope it works out well because I think you guys can get a little bit more enjoyment out of that because there's a lot of people out there who don't have wax melters mm -hmm. and now you've got one built in. Although vice versa, there are a lot of people who don't like burning candles because of the open flame. So we're still, we still have the wax. So that's all for the holiday new scents. Let's talk about new scents that aren't really holiday related. So this is our last scent in our Stranger Things collection that we're coming out with for this year and it is based on Max. This scent was created by Meg. She is also on our team and she came up with the whole scent blend and the name of Totally Tubular. The scent blend is vanilla, strawberry soda, and a skateboard. This scent is everything that is amazing about life. It is so good. <laughs> so uh, good. <laughs> that's a really good description of it. it it's really fresh and creamy because it, it's got this the strawberry soda is what you really get right at the forefront but it is perky mm -hmm. and it's energetic and then it's got this creamy underlayer from the vanilla and mm -hmm. it's such a nice combo mm -hmm. it's not like a strawberries and cream it's a different kind of because it has that uh the fizziness from the soda mm -hmm. that's what gives it a little bit different scent note mm -hmm. it's so good Mm -hmm. And we have this in three ways. We don't have it in the wax for this month, but we, you can get it in all three other ways. And so good. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the art. This one I've actually had done for a very long time. I actually I did all of the new Stranger Things all at the same time. Mm -hmm. I just blasted through them. This has Roxy as Max, and so she's got a redhead wig on. She's got glass, the sunglasses. This is based off of the look that she has in season three when they go out shopping. It's got her skateboard, which was a period authentic, like I say period, it's the 80s people. <laughs> it was legitimately a skateboard that was produced during the 80s and they brought it back after Max showed up in season two. And this is pretty much an accurate representation of that board. It's, it's very close. It, it was one of the first ones that I had for Roxy done and I was like, I think I can like this girl. She's working out pretty well. I love Roxy. She's one of my faves. Mm -hmm. Yep. Next we have two of the signature scents that are new. Well, kind of new. They're new characters, new mascots. One of the scents is not new and one of the scents is new, but we're repurposing. We used to have a scent called Mommy's Milk and Cookies that was created by my friend Lynn, who was one of the very first supporters of when we started our Indiegogo. And so she was able to create a scent, the very one of the very first create a scents with us. And it was peanut butter cookies and milk and she wanted it to be mommy's milk and cookies and it went alongside Thanksgiving pie, which we also repurposed. Her branding is all about uh, mommy wears war paint. Mm -hmm. And it, so it was very much on brand. It was very about her. But when we were doing a lot of this rebranding of things, we didn't really have anything to connect it with. So that's why we decided to bring it in to the fold with one of our signature scents. Mm -hmm. And with that, we also did a shift of the name. C-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, evening. <laughs> Catterday evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is featuring Eleanor, who is our brand new cat character. Um, we've been kind of talking about having another animal character for a little while. Mm -hmm. And so Eleanor was kind of a, a, a shoe in And as far as the scent goes, it's nice, warm, kind of scent. I like I like mm -hmm. it a lot. And that's why we really wanted to keep it in. It's it's a yeah. nice basic warm scent. It's very great for bakery. Yeah. Very good for the holidays also. That's why we wanted to put it out with this month. And also, it's good for just the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's a great kitchen spray. It's a good wax for like if you're trying to sell your house. Cookies sell houses very well. Mhm. Mm so, so tell us about uh Eleanor the cat. We collaborated a little bit with this with someone from my team named Naomi. Well, you guys should do a cat and we're like we're thinking about doing a cat. I kind of worked with her on a name for her. Uh -huh. When I, I just kind of started building this this cat character together I grabbed a whole bunch of different references from a whole bunch of different things to kind of be like how do I make a cute looking cat that that can be a bunch of different things that can be humanoid but still be cat and that's uh -huh. how I came up with 
with her, and she's got the bangs going on there, as you can yeah. see. But she's also, and this is the only way that you can really tell, other than her eyelashes, that she's a girl, is she's got this big old bow on. I think she's cute. I love her how her eyes are, like, super big, and she's just like, hey. But also, What's like happening? her, she, she doesn't have a mouth. No, she doesn't. They're, these aren't actually animal characters. They are plushies. Every single one of them. Mm -hmm. So their mouths aren't always real. Exactly. You know what? I just really love this animal. And we're going to need to do another animal. And it needs to be a penguin. Because if you guys ever noticed, like it used to be on my Instagram when you could put like the uh, animal emoji emojis. It used to be unicorn, moose, penguin. <laughs> So the moose was obviously for Hershey, but the penguin was also because I just really love penguins. And we, we need a penguin mascot, which of course we used in First Toy Makers. I wanted it to smell like, like a cool, snowy, chilly breeze, but yet also like, you know, kind of fruity chill, you know? Mm -hmm. More like wine, because the scent notes are muscadine, sinus relief, and a cruel breeze. So if you guys know about Snowman Sniffles, which is like the sinus relief blend that we use, this is that, but with fruit in it, muscadine, which is used in wine. This character's name is Pacey. It's a throwback to Dawson's Creek, but I thought it was also a nice alliteration, Pacey the Penguin. Mm -hmm. But this scent, I love it because it kind of wakes you up a little bit. Yeah. But then you're like, mmm, fruit. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just raw up your nose with a mint mm -hmm. it's hey i got fruit for you uh-huh this is gonna be amazing if you use it as a as a scrub in the shower will be great because then you can like put it on your hands and not only are you exfoliating but you're also waking up your your senses and your mm -hmm. sinuses this one i think is probably gonna be a staple in my shower i think yeah this is really good i, I like how that all works together and mm -hmm. i think it is also still useful for its sinus relief function but if you found yourself like overpowered by snowman stiffles this might be a nice alternative mm -hmm. so art pacey kind of worked around with various kinds of penguin ideas there's a couple elements to his design uh one you can see that he's got a tuxedo actually built into him it's part of his his look but his his face because you know you have penguins that have kind of that like little the white portions of their face mm -hmm. his is shaped like magneto's helmet Mm-hmm. I did notice that. I was wondering yeah. if that was It was totally intentional. <laughs> if you've ever looked at rock hopper penguins and they've got those the, the plumage coming off that's a different color, he's got that as his eyebrows, and that's kind of a, a signature thing for him, too. I, I imagine him speaking with either a, a German or Belgian ex accent. The little gray cells. <laughs> you can look at this penguin. Tell me he does not say little gray cells. <laughs> But you can also totally uh, see him sitting up on his couch with his little flippers up, doing with his wine. <laughs> Even in his tuxedo. <laughs> it would totally be doing that. Give me the Roku malt. I must change the Netflix. <laughs> that, that definitely That's crazy for you. Crazy. Um, uh, we do have one more mascot, new mascot to our collection coming out in 2020, um, but we're not going to tell you anything about it. But what we will say is that one of the reasons why we're doing more of this is because next year, the way that you will be able to buy the scents is going to be changing and that things will not be available all year round, but some will. So you will find more about that in our December video, which will probably be closer to New Year's. That video, that is one of the things that's changing. We will not be able to buy all of these scents. So we wanted scents that were going to be great year round and that's mm -hmm. gonna be part of our signature collection will at least be available year round. Uh, please uh, subscribe and stay tuned for part two, which is coming of all of these scents that we're bringing back. Cause there's a lot. Holy moly. <laughs> you you might wanna grab yourself something to drink cause we're gonna be here a little while. Wine and chill. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.